Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are talking about base icon upgrade SBC potential coming soon. Now, I know you've seen this code. The pack code has been entered into the game for at least a week now. I think it's been about a week this pack code has been entered. There's been a lot of conversations, a lot of talks about it. I think we're closing in on the time where we would see the first base icon SBC of FIFA 20. Two, because the Hero SBC was also added to the code and that one was dropped last week on Monday. So I think what I'm doing today in this video is what I'm trying to do is kind of prepare you for what that SBC could do to the market because I think that SBC might cause just as big of a crash or bigger crash on some cards on this game. Uh, bigger than that hero SBC did this past Monday. So I know today is Sunday and I will take a look at the content that we could be getting in today's game as well. Of course, we do have the three new rule breakers. They did a mini release again yesterday on Saturday with Klosterman, Cornet, and Kudus. I'm going to take a look at those cards and also the insane profit that I made uh, from Friday into Saturday with some Phil Foden rule breakers cards. I want to talk about that. <clears throat> In this video today but again where are we getting this talk about a base icon sbc let's get this thing started right where is this all coming from well here is the pack code right this was last week on october 29th they added an 81 to 86 players pack which we've already seen in the game via the store we've seen the hero upgrade pack now we have the 82 plus that has not been released yet or the icon upgrade pack and if you take a look back last year Inside of FIFA 22, they released this base icon upgrade on a Monday before Black Friday. Now, it was the Monday right before Black Friday, but I think, honestly, this year they're going to do it a little bit earlier. I know there's a couple weeks until Black Friday is actually released, but it just makes sense, in my opinion. And it could be a completely different day as well, but my guess for this icon SBC is going to potentially be on Monday. So it could come a different day, but Monday makes the most sense in my mind. And with the way that the hero upgrade came out, it would make sense, I think, for them to drop this on Monday. So that's why I'm trying to make this today. But specifically this week, right? This week, anytime in the next two weeks, really, this base icon SBC could be dropping. And that's why we have to talk about it and what it's going to do to the game. So speaking of what it could do to the game, What's it going to cost, right? Last year, the base icon SBC cost right around 500,000 coins. 500k, it was 85, 85, 86, and 87 squads. And I believe there were some team of the week players required potentially. Uh, now, last year, fodder was a bit more expensive than it is this year. And that's kind of been the theme this year, right? You've seen SBCs have been a decent amount cheaper. Parejo's SBC is 88,000 coins, 81,000 coins, but the whole market is cheaper in general. So the same rule of thumb is going to apply, though, uh, that this SBC is probably going to be priced at a point where, like, you know, maybe like 25% of the icons that you could potentially pack from a base icon upgrade SBC would be more expensive than the SBC's cost. So like last year, 600,000 coins for the SBC. If we take a look at the all the icons that are on this game right now, we have four pages basically of baby icons. And there's only about one page with, you know, so, so maybe about like 15 to 20 icons that are above, uh, you know, 500 to 6,000, 600,000 coins. And then of course, you've got another probably like 30 of them that are below that threshold. A lot, a lot of these base icons are under like 200k. I would say at least half of them are under 400,000 coins, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, three 300,000 coins. Half of these icons are under 300,000 coins uh, from pages two, three, and four. Uh, that's that's pretty crazy. So this SBC is going to be 100% a gamble, right? That's how these always are. They are a gamble SBC, just like the Foot Hero upgrade was last week. Now, the Foot Hero upgrade was 165,000 coins, and I believe there were like five heroes or six heroes that were above that 165K threshold. And again, I think that's about like, you know, 15 to 20% of the heroes that are on this game. So it's going to be a gamble and it's going to be expensive, but people are going to do it and people are going to craft it as well. We have still not seen this new preview pack that has been added to the code as well. Uh, they have added an 81 to 86 preview pack into the code, but it has not dropped on the game. That would be one of the most interesting things to affect the SBC fodder market, in my opinion, uh, even today on Sunday into tomorrow on Monday, if they drop that 81 to 86 before the icon SBC is released or if they drop it after. So, and that would be one thing that I would watch out for because as of right now, we've been talking about SBC fodder and how it could drop down this weekend with supply. It really has not moved. 
it really has not moved. If we take a look at the fodder market at the moment, 85s, they're still chilling, right? They're still chilling around five and a half thousand coins. 86s are still 10 to 11K. And I think the reason why this stuff isn't dropping as much is because, yes, we have had some really decent value SBCs recently with the Parejo, with the... Um, the SBC for Verati, which actually a lot of people are doing Verati. Goosens is 41,000 coins. We've had some good value SBCs recently. And of course, the Icon, or sorry, the Foot Hero upgrade pack is still out when available. So that is still there on the market as well, taking a, a little bit of demand from that SBC fodder. But this goes away on Monday. And again, that's why I think that Icon SBC would be a perfect substitution, especially since it was added to the code at the same time. But what is a Icon SBC gonna do to the fodder well obviously it is going to make it go up in price now some of these price ranges have been updated for some of these fodder cards 86 gr Breno is 18,000 coins a lot of these cards were extinct at like 12 13 14,000 coins and they got updated on thursday now does this mean that an icon sbc is 100 percent coming no because price ranges are updated by a computer uh, and EA has this like computer system or whatever that updates price ranges it's very inconsistent as we know but I, don't, I wouldn't read into this price range update that much. The only thing that I would read into this is, um, you know, these cards kind of peaked at like 11, 12,000 coins last Monday and Tuesday when the Hero Upgrade SBC came out, and they're only down to like 10,000 coins. The only thing you can kind of look at and see what this is, all right, instead of this Gerard Moreno only being able to go to like 12 or 13K, he now has a price cap of 18,000 coins if a big SBC were to come out on to this game and rise that price i do think that fodder would 100 percent go up with a base icon upgrade unless it was priced ridiculously expensive but even then there would still be a lot of people that would go out and do it in my opinion though if you're going and buying fodder uh we did not have any pack supply yesterday uh on i, b I believe this is correct on saturday we did not have any pack supply though the promo packs that were in the store were the same ones that were released on friday the 50ks and 25k packs i'm pretty sure these were the exact same ones now the 50k packs go away today on sunday so i would expect something else to replace this probably another set of 50k packs that could bring a little bit of supply so today if we have the 81 to 86 preview pack if they release it today or if they release more 50k packs today and no other SBC content that would drain coins, or sorry, that would um, no other SBC content that would increase fodder um, in terms of a player SBC, like a flashback or something like that, then I think you could have another opportunity to get on some bids for SBC fodder. But again, I, I think the reason why you haven't seen the fodder prices drop this weekend like we maybe anticipated they would is because people know that this icon upgrade is coming or the, the flashback and Bappe, right? All of that stuff has been rumored. So there's SBCs that are coming out right now that are bringing a little bit of demand. And also you just have people investing in these cards because they know that that icon SBC could be coming soon. So what I would hope for today on Sunday is maybe an opportunity to get in on some of this stuff. And if I were you, if you were trying to at least do a club stock, I would go for the bids, right? 9,500 on Castile's. All 86s are selling like 10, 11,000 coins at the moment. I would be getting on the bids 100% or maybe a sniper tube. Um, but the bids are probably going to be your best bet, especially if there's any supply. And honestly, if I was looking into doing any sort of club stock, I wouldn't really invest hardcore or big time on fodder because, again, you know how the pack supply is this year. And if the hero, the hero upgrade SBC, if this goes away on Monday and there's no icon upgrade, then what you're probably going to see is some of this fodder drop lower because that demand for that hero upgrade is going to go away. And of course, a lot of these SBCs are going to continue going away, right? Verati's got three days remaining. Um, Goosen's five days. Let's see, there, there was another SBC that was requiring Dante 16 hours remaining. Some people were doing that one. Uh, so some of these SBCs are going to expire over the next couple of days, which will, unless EA puts out more player SBCs, kind of decrease the demand on the market a little bit. But today on Sunday could be an opportunity. It depends on if they drop that 81 to 86 preview pack because that is going to supply the market with a lot of like 86s, 85s. Because think about it, if you're going to buy a preview pack that is an 81 to 86, it's got you have to pull like an 85 or an 86 rated card to make it worth your while in that pack because it's like i think it was like five players 81 to 86 rated or something like that so you're gonna have to get an 85 or 86 to even want to buy that pack with coins to profit and then you're gonna get some supply on the market so i would watch out for that pack 
to drop fodder whenever it comes out. Now, it would be really interesting if EA put out that preview pack at the same time they released the Icon SBC. That would be very interesting if they did that. But again, we can only theorize at this point. And I know this video today is a lot of theorizing and it's a lot of talking about stuff that is not yet confirmed. Um, but I mean, we got to talk about it because this is big, right? And it, it really does seem that this SBC is coming. I almost 100% guarantee you that it's going to be coming before Black Friday. And I think it's coming even sooner than that. Uh, just with how the things look on this market and how it seems to be destined to come before then. Um, you know, of course, we're going to have more promos coming before Black Friday, but at least at the moment, it just seems like the Icon SBC is going to come pretty soon, which is why we're talking about it today. Now, what's going to happen to the icons, right? A lot of these icons have dropped off a little bit in price over the past couple of weeks. Um, again, as the supply has caught up to them, as there's more special cards that have come out. So people are trying different items than just icons. Uh, on the game. I do think that you will probably see with the rumors and the expectations of this Icon SBC coming soon, starting to swirl around a little bit more, you're probably going to see these cards drop in price a little bit, especially um, out of the weekend, because people are going to maybe sell some of these cards um, and get the coins and be worried about them dropping in price when the Icon SBC actually drops. Now, one thing I would mention is of course, there's going to be panic selling. You guys remember what happened to all the hero cards last Monday when they dropped the big time hero upgrade SBC. These guys went, they got absolutely demolished, right? And if you see people selling that some of your higher tier baby icons, your base icons, you know, guys like Ronaldinho, guys like Dalglish, uh, cards that are kind of over a million coins, you know, Maradona, Del Piero, Vieira would be a great, uh, Butra, Gueno, Cantona, all of those base icons, if you see them getting panic sold on the market, that could be an incredible opportunity to, you know, catch some undercuts and buy some of those cards because what's going to happen is people are going to panic sell the ones that they have and then realize, oh, I'm not going to pack that card out of this SBC because this SBC has terrible pack weight like all of the gamble SBCs always do. And then you're going to see that card, you know, get panic sold and then bounce right back. That is where we saw some of the biggest basically price drops and then also price rebounds last week with the Hero SBC was on the actual cards that were given out of that upgrade pack, right? The Heroes. So I think that would be the same way for the Icons this week. But it, it would, of course, affect the entirety of the market. It would definitely affect some of these Rule Breakers cards. Now, Rule Breakers that are in Team 2, of course, they added the Klosterman, the Cornet, and the Kudus today or yesterday. Um, I'm kind of curious about these cards, when their lowest point is going to be. I think a lot of people are actually going to look to pick up these Rule Breaker Team 2 cards, maybe late uh, tonight on Sunday even, because that is honestly a lower point for a lot of these cards during the second week of these promos. But with a big SBC like an Icon, or you know, some people are still throwing out the potential flashback and Bappe SBC, um, I guess that is something that could come soon too. It's just, you know, it's rumored, right? It's rumored. I feel like the Icon SBC is a lot more concrete though. That's not as rumored. That's more legit because it's in the code and we saw the Hero SBC. So I think that these uh, rule breakers would probably be a buy actually during that panic. I think that's when I would look to buy these cards during that panic. And if there's no Icon SBC on Monday, then, you know, you might have to look into these cards tonight on Sunday, you know, Monday around the content drop time. There's probably going to be some panic selling then because of that expectation for the SBC. So it's going to be a very interesting couple days to see how widespread this SBC, I guess, not panic, but like speculation is to see if there are price drops on the icons, to see if there are price drops and to see if fodder goes up. I think the most uh, likely thing that you're going to see is the fodder going up, to be completely honest with you. Now, as it goes for today's content on Sunday, I think, I think that's all for like for the icon SBC, I feel like that's the gist of it, right? We know what's going to happen whenever it comes out, it, whether it's Monday, whether it's today, whether it's sometime in the next week or maybe even two weeks from now before Black Friday, um, it's going to be a drop on the icons. Fodder is going to go up regardless of what other supply that is, is out there. There's going to be a bit of a spike on the fodder and it's probably going to be somewhere priced around. I think it's going to be like a five, 600K SPC just like last year, maybe around the 500K range. But that's kind of all the preparation I think that you need to have for this icon upgrade, uh, depending on when it does come out. So again, those are kind of my thoughts on that. But as we get into today on Sunday, I think last Sunday, did we have the Dante SB? I'm not even quite sure what the content was last Sunday. 
Um, but I don't think it was a very exciting day, right? It wasn't a very exciting day and we were all kind of looking forward to, you know, what was going to happen week one of rule breakers. I think it was the Dante. We might've had the Dante last Sunday. Uh, that might've been the SBC that was released. And I think he was out for seven days, which is why he's expiring today. But I'm not expecting a huge day of content on Sunday. I mean, EA could of course surprise us with something. Um, but it's more looking like it might be Monday for our big SBC. If that is the icon upgrade now probably upgrade packs will be dropping on monday as well uh they dropped the 78 plus upgrade last week on monday at the same time as they dropped the hero upgrade so that's going to be very interesting but i would expect to see the rule breakers that are in team two drop off a bit in price now some of these guys have dropped off a little bit as i'm recording this video i'm watching foden again man because last night i bought foden after the price range update if you guys saw my twitter post i was able to snag this phil foden at 440 thousand coins 440k for Foden I bought five of them and sold them all at 570 uh, so 440 to 570 and that was a incredibly massive flip it was ending up around 490 thousand coins profit after tax and I even sold a bit early like he he ended up um, going to 600 thousand coins so I could have even sold after that and made about 100k more but still one of the biggest flips ever in a, in a 24 actually like a 12 hour period not even a day in a 12 hour period buying those photons and selling them that was absolutely incredible so again for sunday content today i don't have i'm not expecting anything big of course ea could surprise us uh, but i would expect the rule breakers to drop off a little bit as people maybe finish their weekend league of course sunday uh you know night late for the east uh, for the west coast na and then like monday morning early in the morning for a lot of the rest of the world in the uk uh time frame for the weekend league rewards i think that's when a lot of people are going to be looking at these rule breakers from team two so if you see any sell-off sunday night there might be an opportunity to get some of these cards on sunday night as people will be looking and to maybe invest in some of these guys like a foden or, or a klosterman or a cornet uh you know some of those new cards that were just released yesterday on the game now i do want to mention the parejo spc right quick because i think that spc is really cool right a parejo with pace like is this the first parejo we've ever had that has been usable four star weak field three star skills medium medium 87 pace parejo uh looks like a decent card to be fair 90 acceleration 80 agility 81 balance it's a well-rounded item it's 88,000 coins uh so you know i think some people are doing this too because it looks pretty interesting and it's a decent card on this game. So that is what I wanted to talk about in the video today is just, again, speak on that Icon SBC before we get into this week, right? I wanted to have a video about this because I know there's not many people talking about it, but I want you guys to be prepared for it um, and get ready for it, right? If you want to buy some fodder, I would watch out for some dips. Again, if that does come, if it doesn't, then I probably would not go all in. I'm really not an all in fodder person. Um, when it comes down to investing for SBCs, I just like to do a club stock at the very most. But if you're somebody who would want to actually do the icon upgrade SBC, then maybe doing some bids, right? Uh, stocking some on your transfer list might be a shout. And uh, I'm probably going to stop trading with icons after I get a couple of these flips out. I did buy a middle on re for 1.02 earlier today and he sells around 1.1 right now he's still chilling about 1.09 so 1.07 on a couple under undercuts but i think overnight i can snag like a 1.12 and uh that would be that'd be awesome for that card i think i also have a baby van percy trying to sell that just over a mil and those would be a couple nice flips but with some of these icons if the word starts to get around that we're expecting an sbc then you might see a little bit of a dip on them and you might see fodder start to go up if people expect that SBC to be coming. So I'm not expecting any crazy content today on Sunday, but we'll have to see unless EA switch something up on us. Uh, may maybe a player SBC, maybe a player SBC of some sorts, um, unless they're going to surprise us with something crazy. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.